Here's a little story about a man with a shed. He got really bored, so this is what he said. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna get on the radio. So now in his shed, he does a funny show. Broadcasting, that is. Radio Gold. It's pretty funny. When you listen to bad radio, you get depressed. When you get depressed, your friends take you out to cheer you up. When your friends take you out, you get lost. When you get lost you wander into a dark alley. When you wander into a dark alley you get raped by a bum. Please do not wander into a dark alleyway and get raped by a bum. Listen to The Shed Show on Spreaker.com Yeah, what do you think about that? Good job, Joe. <laughs> it's uh, Uncle Bobby here with DJ Joe Seeker. <laughs> That's right. Keeping it real. Keeping it real, man. Scr- scratching it up, Bobby. I'm scratching it up. Scratching it out, mixing up the gold. That 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 was brought to you uh, uh, in part by Showbilly on Net Radio. Great job, Joe. You're the new audio guy here. Uh, if you didn't have enough on your plate. Having to uh, pick up my slack and shine on the mic. Now you got to mix shit, too. That's right. i got to do all the thinking. Yeah. <laughs> all, the, all the gay bashing. Yep. you got to do everything for me. I just sit and look pretty. That's my job. <laughs> yeah, I'll be just a pretty face of the, of the shit show. Yeah. Just, I'm just a pretty face on the radio. So my job's pretty hard. <laughs> yep. Um, but, uh, you know, we're under the gun. We're, we're, I'm, I'm waiting for my pizza. When my pizza gets here, I'm bailing out, but we'll do, we'll do a half hour regardless. Um, he's not going to share either in case anybody's wondering. I'm going to share with Joe. I am, but not you guys. Yeah. Before we go any further on any topics, Bobby, I'd like to just speak about something for a minute. Of course you do. (laughs) Go ahead. please. Okay, all right. Of course you can. Are you kidding? Because you guys all know oh. I'm, I'm doing the juicing thing now, as anybody that listens. Uh, I peeled up four honey crisp apples last night. If you don't know what a honey crisp apple is, then I suggest you try one. Uh, put them through the juicer, and uh, I got like a glass of, of juice. Oh, seven dollar glass of juice. You want those true? But anyway, uh, uh, losing weight is very expensive, Joe. We all know that. It is, but you know, you know, you don't have to drink like a seven dollar glass of honey crisp juice just because you're losing weight. I just did it because I wanted to. So, well, you know what? If you're if you're gonna if you're gonna do get on a diet, uh, you know, you might as well enjoy it. You know, if you if you're liking this stuff, then it's worth the you know oh, the seven dollars. This juice, I got like a glass. Made this brown foam on top. That, that doesn't sound chicken. good, Joe. <laughs> oh, no, it, it didn't look good either. <laughs> so when, when, you, like, when you drink the juice, like the, the, the way the juicer makes juice, it always puts a foam on top of the juice. It's just the air, you know what I mean? Yeah. But anyway, so when you drink the juice, like you sort of get like a bit of a foam mustache. So like this juice is just fucking delicious. I mean, it's like drinking fucking an orgasm. So every mouthful, I'm swishing it around in my mouth, and I'm thinking, oh my god, this is good. And when I get down to the end, and there's nothing but that foam, I go to pour that out of my mouth, and that was even better. <laughs> like, and the first thing I thought is, next time I make this, I'm freezing that foam. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because, fucking, 
I mean, like, this, this shit is the ball. It was so, really good, huh? Sure. If you got a juicer, make yourself some homemade apple juice because uh, I made a glass this morning with cheaper apples. And it was every bit as good. Well, doesn't it just taste like cider or something? No. No. Uh, all I can tell you is with the ring of tax, go buy a cheap juicer for like 40 bucks. You can buy the, the big Bosch Juicer Pro at Walmart. That's what I got. And uh, I paid $40 in Canada, so I imagine it'd be 30 or whatever down there. And get yourself some apples at the grocery store and do a glass and you'll see what I mean. Well, we always have apples anyway. We buy apples every time we go. Apples, oranges, and bananas because the kids actually eat them. Uh, when the cook get juice bananas. When the cookies are gone, they go for the fruit. So. Well. Now the the before I, I'll let you go now, Bobby. I'm on that topic. Are you sure? I'm not. I didn't say anything. I wasn't fucking with you or not. Well, what they say is, is like I told you about that guy on Netflix. There says he lost 92 pounds in 60 days on juice. Like, it costs a lot of money to to, to live on juice. But I know a guy here that did a 10-day juice thing. And now every day, he uh, tries to have one meal as juice. And then another one has a smoothie. And then he eats, like, whatever at night. And he says he's losing weight and doing great. So. I, I would, I, I really think it would, because my, fuck, I think my biggest problem is I, I eat heavy. Oh, pizza's here. I eat heavy I, uh, at night. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, that, that, that is a big problem. I do that. I used to, you know, I should say I used to. Like, that's, that's my fucking problem, too. I got, do, do, uh, we'll, when we come back, we'll, uh, we'll do everything we're going to do. It, it, these clips will hint you uh, on what we're going to talk about for the news and stuff. Back right after this. Mm -hmm. I ain't babysitting. I ain't babysitting. I ain't babysitting. Mm -hmm. You crazy woman? I ain't babysitting. Oh, hell no. She had six implanted embryos after giving birth to six. Now everybody's saying, damn, how crazy is this chick? Damn. Pregnancy glow. Pregnancy glow. Ain't got the joke. But Jody want more, 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 more. Jody now got 14 kids, which is pretty whack. Obstetrician had to give a baby booties a big smack. <laughs> Water hits the flow. Nasty. Next thing you know, Shorty's got more, 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 more. Ain't never seen a big belly like that grow. This crazy chick's a baby poppin' pro. Got a million dollar bill and incubation fees. Food on the walls. House full of fleas. And her expectations are not for donations. Except church congregation. And safe location. She had complications. Childhood expiration. That's her explanation. Pops them out like a toaster. Needs to pass up a holster. And a pimple stretch roller. She's a food stamp high roller. Cha-ching. All right, there we go. So, uh, oh, let's start. To, let's do the news. I'm all confused now. Uh, let's do the intro. Where's the news intro? Oh, I just lost it. Ah, I lost the news intro, Joe. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Somebody's not distracted by the smell of fucking pizza in the house, are they? Yeah, I'm ready to go right now. What do we got to push through this? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> yes, what is it, Frank? I would like to extend to you an invitation to the pants party. Party. The pants. With the pants. Party with pants. Rick, are you saying that there's a party in your pants and that I'm invited? That's it. Years later, a doctor will tell me that I have an IQ of 48 and am what some people call mentally retarded. Rick, are you just looking at things in the office and saying that you love them? Como están, bitches? Spanish language news is here. Rick, where'd you get a hand grenade? I don't know. You jumped up a notch. 
It did, didn't it? Yeah, I stabbed a man in the heart. Thinking I've been twigging up my appetite. Looking forward to a little afternoon delight. Rubbing sticks and stones together, make the sparks ignite. And the thought of loving you is getting so exciting. Sky rockets in flight. Woo! Afternoon delight. You guys have it, I think. Huh. A whale's vagina. <laughs> <laughs> God, just as we go on air, you're singing I Love Pizza. <laughs> so, the, the news today, um, I can, I'm in, it's right next to me too, it's fucking killing me, I can't even concentrate, <laughs> smelled it. Um, uh, I thought we were over this broad, but apparently not, this is a brand new, I swear to you, um, well, we like to go to HuffingtonPost.com to, uh, to get our uh, news, right, Joe? Yeah, I do. Yeah, me too. And um, apparently we're not over her. Octomom. Yeah, I love her. Eight things to know about uh, Nadia Sulman, which is uh, apparently Octomom, right? Octomom. Yeah, she, she, she's a bit of a skank. God damn it! Every time the... I swear to God I'm going to call them up. Yeah, we lost connection. I, probably dead air in the, in the show and everything. Motherfucker. So, I guess we'll read till jo Joe will be back. It'll connect in a minute. Uh, I don't even know if you guys can hear me, but uh, I, the new story brought to you by Huffington Post today is Octomom. It's kind of like a where she at now kind of kind of thing. Much has transpired since Nadia Sulman became Octomom by giving birth to eight premature but otherwise healthy children in January on January 26, 2009. She's gone from medical marvel. Hers are the only. Full set of octo octoplets <laughs> to live past their first week. The national punchline her for her various money generation efforts. Uh, we gotta call him back because I hung up on him. Mother, and it's busy. He's probably trying to call back. I'm not. Pay I'm not paying them a goddamn dime. I gotta call them. There's no reason it should be doing that. Let's hear Joe defend him now. Defends the cable company all the time. Hello? Let, let, let me hear your defense for these fucking piece of shit cable guys now. Go ahead. What's your fucking excuse? What's your fucking excuse? What is their excuse? Why the fuck would, would the fucking phone ring and, and I lose my goddamn internet? Why? Why can't the phone ring and I have internet? Why am I paying that? For what? Thanks. Fucking oh, piece of that shit. Was, that was refreshing. <laughs> I'm glad you're having a good time. I needed that. Meanwhile, our show's ruined. God, I don't even know how much they heard, because you know, uh, it, it, it fucking it, we lost we lost service. I got the fucking little thing up here, it says uh, a network error occurred and the connection with the server has been lost. Yeah, because you're fucking douchebags and you don't know how to hook a goddamn wire to anything. Liz, you stay out of this or you're next. If I had a dick, this is where I'd tell you to suck it. Oh, Joe, what do I do? Well, should I be paying for this? Like, what, what am I paying for? I don't know, but 
saying is when, when why does that that doesn't sound right when the phone rings i lose my connection you know it's happening it happens all the time to us we're talking we lose skype as soon as that fucking phone rings and the thing that's getting me the most is they're probably making money off me by giving my number out or something because all these people calling me who do, i don't even know who they are and they're not all just bill collectors they're like people trying to sell something you know college shit all this fucking shit and I'm not putting out my number. I'm not, you know, I'm not doing that. Uh, you know, I'm, I don't do that anymore <laughs> like I used to. And it's a different number than the, the you know, because before they'd get me because I would put my email address and my number on to, to download something or for whatever reason I would do be doing something. And then all these people would. One, one of the many free things on the internet. Yeah, all these free things that they're free because, you know, you, you get all these advertisers harassing them. But they're they're getting they're getting the number somehow, and I'm not gonna put it past the cable company oh, doing that. Bastards! I'm, uh, I'm not I'm not happy with the situation at all. <laughs> I hope you're having a good time. <laughs> I am. <laughs> they got my wire still just hanging there. Are you telling me it takes two months? <laughs> two months to dig a fucking wire in the ground? Get a little bobcat. I, fuck, I could have had it in the ground by now with a shovel. Bobby, it's common knowledge that you have a problem with your wire just hanging there. I'm going to strangle them with it. That's what I'm going to do. When they get here, when they're bobcat, the, the guy's going to the guy's gonna come up, and he's going to probably be a big burly guy, so I'm going to have to do it when he turns around. I'm going to jump I'm gonna jump on his big fat back. Big fat hairy back. I'm gonna jump right on top of him and take that fucking cord and just wrap it around his fat necks and choke him the fuck out. <laughs> I hate these people. I'm just, you know, trying to do a show and eat some pizza. Why can't I do it? Watching the movie. By the way, when we come back, next time we come back, Joe, we're going to be doing a movie review on uh, the movie that you're already telling me it's gonna, I'm going to have a horrible time. Joe's telling me we're going to watch this movie called, what's it called, babe? After Earth with Will Smith and his son. And Joe said it's going to be the worst two hours of my life. <laughs> Is that kind of what you said, pretty much? <laughs> it's going to be a lot like watching Vanilla Sky. I don't even know what that is. That's that fucking Tom Cruise movie he made there, remember? He, he got the car accident, he was uh, rich. Oh, uh, yeah. Now, the fucking, like, what the fuck? Well, listen, oh, man, I, I've never seen that movie, but I think that that's got a little bit of a cult following myself, I think. Really? I think so, yeah. I'm not positive, losers. but I think so. Oh, speaking of losers, I'd just like to give a special shout-out to our good buddy Calpo. Uh, oh. Oh, I was going to say, he's not in the chat, is he? No, but he's a real special type of loser. He's the type of loser that's not aware he's a loser, Bobby. I know, I know. That's the best kind. They're the best kind, because they just go around being losers, thinking they're winners, and then everybody else gets a chuckle out of it. So, keep doing what you do, Calpo. You're a winner with us, but even though the world... If I had a dick, this is where I'd tell you to suck it. I hate that guy. <laughs> I fucking Fuck hate him. him. Him and his stupid Cobra the Kitty. I hope that cat... Hey, hope Bobby, that... guess who it is? It's, it's Calpo in, in his many voices. Hi, Bobby. How you doing? Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. I'm Cobra the Kitty. Meow, meow, meow. I'm the Clinton. Fucking loser. What a loser. <laughs> hey, I get paid thousands of dollars over in Greenland to do voiceover work. Now, for those of you who may stumble into this and not know who Calpote is, Calpote is, Calpote is a, 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 a radio enthusiast like us who's been around in, in the radio world for a while. He was, used to do blog talk radio. That's how I met him. And he's wandered over here, which it took us like, he's been here for like two years. We're just finding this out that he's here. That tells you how good his show is. And, so. and 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 only seventy plays, so I don't. <laughs> One hundred thirty-six plays and fucking ninety-four of them come from the 
that fucking Debbie Daly show he did. So, keep on rocking, buddy. Oh, uh, yeah. So, um, it, you know, well, he, and he, he's, a, he's quite the critic. It, it, what started with it is right. he would call me and harass me and tell me how, how horrible my songs were. And I try to explain to him the good is no. bad. That's why I have him on. We don't need him to tell us you suck. Yeah, that's what I try to tell him. I try to tell him, explain to him how the show goes. Good is bad. That's why I have him on the show. And he he, he doesn't he doesn't get it. He thinks I had him on the show because, you know, his Bill Clinton impression was spot on, you know, or something like that. I guess I don't know what he, what he thought. Why I was enjoying? Why I would make clips of him because it was just so awful. It was good, you know. And he, he thought you were laughing at it because he was going to sell them fucking stadiums and do, be the next Daniel Tosh. He didn't, realize, <laughs> he didn't realize you were laughing at him because he's a loser. My gosh. Uh, whatever. So fuck him. He's I think, a- you know, but really it shows how modest he really is to, to be such a talented individual and have such potential, but... Yet he chooses to work two real jobs and just waste away on Springer. Yeah, makes fun of my job because I'm off right now. Well, he's got two of them. How, and Joe brings up a great point. How good could they be if you need two of them? <laughs> he says to Bobby, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I have to work two real jobs, making a joke at Bobby about being a carny. Like, that's my fucking racket, buddy. I make fun of Bobby for being a carny, not you. His big thing is, I have to work two jobs, real jobs. Well, my thing was, is how real can the second job be, or the first job be, if you need to work the second one? Yeah, and plus I heard him say something about he lost them anyway. He he, he ain't got nothing going on. That's why he's doing so many shows and shit. Fuck him. He's getting fucked in the ass by Jesse Ventura, looked alike. So when we come back, we're we're gonna go. We we, we got we, I got enough to play to get out of here, and then. Uh, I, uh, I heard he sold out behind the dumpster last week, though, behind the Seven Eleven. I guess there's standing room only back there. And also, uh, you got me confused. Oh, so uh, we I, might. I, I, I was reading on. Uh, Side of the high school football team. <laughs> That's a true story. True story. I just wish I was there, but I wasn't. Yeah. I'm not judging you, Debbie. I would have jumped in line. Oh, yeah, I would have been in line. Damn right. Uh, speaking of which, uh, let's play, before we leave, let's play Jackass of the Day. This is called the Jackass Team. <laughs> is, this is a zonkey. It's, it's the rarest mountain you can get. Okay, here we go. It's time for Jackass of the Day. Jackass theme song, guys. Dead Air. That Dead Air was brought to you by Joe Seeker. And Jackass of the Day is who, who Joe? I don't know. Cowpoke! <laughs> Congratulations, Cowpoke. Really yeah. In the, in the world of losers, you are the winner. <laughs> And um, your your runner up was the runner up was Debbie Daly, and he beat her for Jackass of the Day. So you know he's good. On the next show me and Joe do, we'll do the movie review and, and actually see how bad this movie really is. i got to see for myself. I can't trust Joe with everything. You know? Uh, so- okay, Bobby. The movie's going to suck. Tell them what fucking movie it is. 
I told you, I told him already. It's uh, what is it again, babe? After Earth. After Earth. Will Smith. You gotta suck. That suck. Will Smith and his son. <laughs> Very important. And You're there. look, all right, all right. Let, let, How many movies of Will Smith did you like? Did you like? Maybe you just have a problem with Will Smith. Did you like? Did you like his? Sh- tell, tell, tell Bobby what the reviews are about that movie right now. Oh, and that apparently the the special effects are so cheesy. Yeah, that's what it's just unreal. Yeah, it's just a I don't know. Did you like? Did you like anything Will Smith was in, Joe? Uh, what, in now they're gonna sit here and talk about lunch. <laughs> you know, I want to eat my pizza too, Joe. I want to eat too. So does Liz. I know, I know. We're leaving. We only got four minutes anyway. I don't even. Have, I can't even play out to anything. I'll play out to our, 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 our brand, sucks. our brand new clip that we made. But we're gonna. Well, suck as much as I am legend. Sucks even. That's what I'm. I was trying to get at before you start talking to Debbie about lunch. You know, I love that movie. So that's why I can't go by you. I loved. I loved that movie. Uh, uh, legend. That was a good movie. No, How, no, no. iRobot, I like the iRobot, I like the zombie movie he did. That they could just, because they got a virus, they could just all of a sudden start slamming themselves in the cement and stuff without breaking their bones. Yeah, they're all hocked up on, like, it's like well, taking PCP. I, I understand they're all hocked up, but, you know, it still would change the fact that their bones and stuff would crash. You don't know that. It's a it's a lot more believable than the than the old zombies where you cut off their head and they're still moving. Well, I don't believe that either. Well, you know but, what I mean. Uh, and then he's got to take care of himself and make sure he don't die, but he's driving like a hundred miles an hour, like through like fucking crowded fucking abandoned cars. On because fucking, when he like, did that, when shoot he shoot deer with one arm, shoot deer <laughs> over his shoulder with a rifle from a fucking Mustang, Bobby. Come when on. he. When he did that, he wanted to die. He didn't want to live. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's why he was trying to catch food. <laughs> Horrible movie, Bobby. We will see when we come back. Uh, if either. You put fucking jail for what him and that hack son of his did to the karate kid, too. Ah, and that was a great you movie, too. Uh, you just don't like. You're, you're just a Will Smith hater. I think you're racist. <laughs> Oh, that was good. I like that movie too. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm biased. Maybe you're biased in in the one in the opposite direction. I think that you have a fascination with black penises. I, no, but I I might have I might have a I might have a, a bit of a man crush on Will Smith. I might. Oh yeah, see. Bobby a bromance. Crush. Bobby dreams of Will Smith's black penis. <laughs> I'm gonna eat some pizza. I'm out of here. I don't have to take this abuse. Now I'm depressed. Depression, depression, depression. Depression, depression, depression. When you listen to bad radio, you get depressed. When you get depressed your friends take you out to cheer you up. When your friends take you out you get lost. When you get lost you wander into a dark alley. When you wander into a dark alley you get raped by a bum. 
please do not wander into a dark alleyway and get raped by a bum. Listen to The Shed Show on Spreaker.com.